Astro is great for making content-driven websites. So things like marketing sites or blogs or things that are just more static in nature. But if we need to make websites or even applications that are more dynamic and call a database quite frequently, Astro is a great choice for that as well. It pairs very well with Prisma. And today we're going to take a look at how to use Prisma plus Prisma Postgres in an Astro application. And we'll get started right now. Let's come over to this empty project that we've got here. Let's start by adding Prisma. So in a new terminal window, we can do npm install and we'll install the Prisma CLI. We'll save that as a dev dependency. We'll install Prisma. All right, next let's install Prisma client, npm install at Prisma slash client. All right, so now we can initialize Prisma and we'll get a Prisma Postgres database at the same time. That looks like this, npx Prisma init and we'll pass dash dash db and this is going to step us through getting a Prisma Postgres database. I'll go with US East 1 for my region. I'll name this Prisma Astro. And in just a few seconds, we have got our database all set up. So taking a look now in the Prisma directory, we have got our schema.prisma that comes with our init step. And in the .env file, we have got a database URL that points to our Prisma Postgres database. Let's go in and add a model, just something really simple to get started with. Model user, let's go with that. So user will have ID, we'll have email, password, created at and updated at. So those are just a couple of simple fields that we can work with for now. And now we can go and migrate the database. npx prisma migrate dev dash dash name equals init. All right, so the migrations are done. We've got our migrations directory here with our first migration. And we can take a look at this database over in the Prisma console. So console.prisma.io. If we refresh there, we should see our new database. There we go, Prisma Astro. We can click into the development environment and into studio. And here in studio, we have got our user table. So we're all set to go. Why don't we start by adding a record? So we'll add a record. We'll just do whatever for the ID. Email can be john at doe.com. And password can be password123. Let's save that. All right, so we're all set to go with the database. We've got some data in place. And now we're ready to start bringing it through to the application. Here's where it's at so far for the Astro application or Astro website. We've got this hello Prisma Astro message and that's under here, SRC. Then if we go to pages, it's in index.astro. And this is a spot where we can start to show how Prisma might fit in. And that's because this page is server-side rendered. What that means is here in the front matter, what we can do is we can import Prisma. So import Prisma client, then let's get a new Prisma client and let's just ask for all the users. Const users equals await Prisma user find many. And now this result should be available for us to put onto the page. So down here, for example, we can loop over them. So we'll map the users out and we'll put the email on the screen. All right, so back over on the page, we've got john at do.com. So the idea here is that in the various places where we can interact with the back end when it comes to working with Astro, we can use Prisma. So for example, that's in this server side rendered page that we've got here. And in this page, we can call for some data that already exists in the database, but we can also handle form submissions. So why don't we start by getting a form on the page? I'm going to use cursor for this. We'll do command K and say, please add a form that takes email and password to create a new user. All right, so cursor has got some stuff for us here. So let's take a look over in the browser. And there we go, we've got our form. It takes email and password. So in our SSR page over here, we can listen for a request that might come in. And what that looks like is this. We wanna listen for an Astro request. If Astro request method equals post, if that is what this page receives, then we can work with some form data that might come from the request. So that looks like this. We've got data that awaits Astro request form data. Then we're getting the email and password that would come from the form. And since we're in a backend context here, we can call Prisma to create that user. Await Prisma user create. The data that gets passed in then would be email as a string and we want password as well. That should just be user singular there. And the result for that, let's console.log that out. Console.log user. All right, so saving that, let's go back over to the browser. Let's have Jane Doe now. So Jane at doe.com and just whatever for the password, create that user. So we did the browser post step there. Let's go back over here to see what happened in the console. There's the record for Jane Doe, that record got created. And indeed, if we're back over in the Prisma console and we refresh, 
we've got Jane Doe there as well. So this is useful here if you're working with server-side rendered pages and you want to listen for a form action. Sometimes though, you might need to interact with an API or an endpoint, and that's something that can be done in Astro as well. So under pages here, I've got users.json.ts, and this is an API route. This is the convention that Astro has for putting together API routes that can listen for requests like post requests and can do typical things like take in some data and then operate on it. So for example, this endpoint would listen for a post request here, take in body and email from the request, and then we can do the same work of adding it to the database with Prisma. Let's get Prisma in place up here. So that's an import of Prisma clients. Then we want a new Prisma client. Something that we might want to consider doing is centralizing the Prisma client instance to a singleton so that we're not always newing up new Prisma clients across the application. However, this is fine for now, just for the purposes of demo. One note on the password here, we're putting this into the database in plain text. This is really just for demo purposes, and you wouldn't want to do that in real life. Please make sure to salt and hash your passwords as they go into the database instead. All right, let's get our new user. Const user is await Prisma user create. Data that goes in would be email and password. Then we can return the user. Data returned would be user. So where we might see this at play, the use of this endpoint could be in a React component. So if we go to components here, I've got user form.tsx all prepped. This is a React component that uses React hook form. Then on the submit step, we are calling users.json. We're specifying the method is post, which means that this is going to reach the users.json post endpoint that we've established here. The rest of it here in user form is just a typical form. As it stands, there's no styling on this. Why don't we ask Cursor for a little bit of that? Please make this look better. All right, let's see what we get if we use this now. So over in index.astro, we're going to make use of it. Let's do this. Let's get rid of what we got here in this form. Let's delete that. And instead, let's use a user form. User form needs to be imported. That comes from components slash user form.tsx. And I'm going to say here, clients load. All right, let's check this out now back over in the browser. Let's open up dev tools so that we can see what's going to happen here under the hood. We'll have John with an H at do.com this time. And then the password is just whatever. So we'll click create user. And in that call, we go to users.json. The headers tell us that we've done a post request and the response that we get back is our new user. So then just refreshing here, we have got our three users that we've put into place. And so there we have it. We've got three different ways to call into our Prisma database in an Astro application. We can do so from a server side rendered page when the page loads, for example, and also we can listen for a form action to call into our database with some form data, for example. Then we have got the ability to specify an API endpoint in which we can use Prisma as well. So again, Astro is really great for making content-driven websites, but it also does a great job at making data-driven websites that need to interact with the database a lot. And Prisma pairs very well with it. If you've got any questions at all about using Prisma in your Astro website, please feel free to drop them in the comments below, or you can reach out to us. We're at prisma.io on the web or at Prisma on Twitter. Thanks for watching.